Welcome to episode 7 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we will learn about creating a dynamic dependent dropdown in Live Wire 3. In the video description, we have a single SQL file containing the counties and subcounties. These are sort of each county will have several subcounties and also the counties are a number of, of them actually 47. Please download it and we will be using it in this tutorial episode. We will import this file to and copy the data into our MySQL database and then after that we will continue to create some models. So let us go ahead and work on that. Already for me I have the file in my machine so i want to just open localhost php my admin and be able to import the sql file into our mysql database i have opened the database and the database that we're dealing with is l3 crud l3 fs crud this other one not the other one it depends with how you have saved yours and inside here i'll just like to click import and then i want us to import some sql files so i'm going to choose the file this file that we call counties and then we are going to run it or import it and once we import it has created for us two tables the first table is called counties and as you can see we have the county name maybe the capital city and the code of the county and so on and so forth and then we also have sub counties when I open the sub-counties now, you can see here we are having, so under each county, each county has several sub-counties. So basically in our drop-down, you'll be selecting the county and then it will be bringing for us the sub-counties that belong to that county. So that is what we are going to work with in a nutshell. I would like to go ahead and create the models for those two tables that we have created so I'm going to just run the command php artisan make model and the first one is county I press enter the county model has been created I will press the up button to return whatever it is that we had typed initially and I would want us to have sub county like that. I will still press enter. Now we have created county and sub county models. I would also like to go ahead and create our live wire component. And now, because you have been following for a while, you can be able to know that you run the command PHP artisan make live wire and then the name of our component I want to call it dynamic let me just call it drop down just like that let me just call it drop down and now we have also our component created so I would like us to go to our drop down class and inside our drop down class, I would like to import our models. So in this case, use app models county. And then I will also want to import use app models sub county like that. So county and sub county. After that, because I would like us to begin first of all by rendering the county in our blade file maybe i can be able to use the mount hook so we can be able to have public function 
mount and I believe it's not the first time we are working with this one and I want to declare a property here which we are going to call counties public counties like that and I want to use the mount hook to set the counties so these counties will be equivalent to county county all county for yes county all like that and that is good enough we can now be able to reference the counties inside our drop down view so let us open views views and then live wire and then drop down and inside here we have our title maybe that we created somewhere using the stubs so here i would like to call it dynamic dynamic dependent drop down and since we have included bootstrap in our layout file i can give it a class of um, h5 like that and this one here we can give it an offset class i want it to be somehow in the middle offset offset over three and column six like that i would also want us to now have our um, select but because we will be having two inputs i would like to separate them using a div so we have the first div with a class over mb3 like that I will close that div that way maybe I can just copy this one and uh, paste it downwards here because we will also need for the values for the sub county now after that I would like us to have select select with a class of uh, form select and then we will be able to close our select like that and inside here I would like us to have our first option our first option as a select a county or please please select a county or maybe just select county and i would like to give this a value of a just an empty value after that i would like now to loop through our counties so we can say at for each in this case we can reference counties remember we have a prop called counties as county like that and then we can close the for each so end for each and inside here i would like us to have another option value so here the value that we are going to have to give it is um county id hyphen id and then inside here where we have select county we can be able to pass in the name of the county 
so in this case we can say county name like that so basically that is what we are going to have and i would like us to load this file of ours as a full page component for us to be able to do that we will be required to have a route so i would like to create a route here and now this route of ours let me just call it drop down like that and the class is drop down the class that we created in our the live wire class that we created here so drop down class and obviously for us to be able to use it like that we will have to import it and for us to be able to import it i'll just have it here as drop down that way basically currently it's possible for us to load our view let us attempt to do that so i'm going to visit localhost 8000 and uh, i'm going to visit drop down and now we have select county and now you can see we are having all the counties being listed so if uh, we choose this one then we have selected nothing if we choose any other then we can be able to do some action on it i would like to go ahead and uh, go back to our live wire class and here i would like to set another property which I'm going to call selected county. So in this case, when we have a selected county, then we can be able to pass in the ID. So selected county, like that. And we can set the initial value to null, that way. So then I can be able inside our form we can be able to have the wire model and in this case we can be able to set it as a selected county like that but since i want it to be live when we we, we change it i will just add dot live and this is all provided in livewire 3 so once we have it like this then we can be able to do an action on it so let me refresh now if we select a value this value is actually being uh, passed to or in other words set in our props but i would like to do a little bit more in livewire we have the the life cycle hooks of course mount is one of them and there's another one that i would like to introduce because we have only dealt with mount i want to introduce another one that is called updated public function updated but we need to pass this value here so that it will be watching whenever now this value changes from null and something has been set to it then this hook will actually be uh, sort of triggered so let me add selected county so i'm going to add exactly what we have here i'm going to use capital s selected county so what i have typed is just this property here but the only thing I've done is that I have capitalized the first letter. And then after that, we can be able to reference it. So I want us to, as we select it, I want us to do DD. And then I want us to just say this selected county to just see if there's something that is going to be uh, triggered 
if we can be able to reach this uh, dump and die and we can be able to display it, then everything will be working perfectly the way we want it. So let me refresh. And now if we select Mombasa, it's not working. No, the, yes, it's working, but there is uh, something that is not found. So we are saying property updated selected county not found on component drop down. Okay, let me check it out and see. Yes, I have mistyped it. I've actually, uh, I'm actually returning something totally different. We cannot be able to return something updated selected count. There's nothing like that. So let me just have it like that. Sorry for that. I think it is something that came because of auto completion. It's not what I intended to type. So let us refresh again and check. So now if we select another county, now you can see the ID of that county is being passed. And that one is fundamentally very important. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able now to get the sub county. So I would like to declare another property here which we are going to call sub counties. So public sub counties like that. And then now we can be able to set the sub county as follows. Remember in the in the sub county table which is this one here we have the county code and this county code is sort of like the county id something of that sort because when you look at uh, the county code and id the values are virtually the same so we can just be able to use id like that so i want us to be able to set the sub county now, for us to be able to set the sub count, we are going to say this sub counties like that as it will be given by. Now, here we are going to call the sub county model using eloquent. So, sub county like that, where in this case we can say county underscore code i believe that is what we have seen here where county code is the same as the value of the selected county so in this case i can put a comma and just pass these selected county like that so this selected county and we can be able to chain get to be able to get those values. So maybe I can be able to just extend this a little such that you can be able to have a view of what, whatever it is that we are having here. So this one you'll be able to update our sub county property with the sub counties that we are fetching that are related to the counties or the specific county that we have chosen. Now, I want us to display in our view, we want to display these uh, counties, the sub counties, only if we have a value that has been set. So below here is where I would like us to display our sub counties. And so, I would like to only show the sub county select uh, input if we have a sub county selected. So in this case, I can just check it like this. Or in, in other words, if we have a county selected. So if in this case, we can just check it like that. And we can check the negative is null. So we are checking if the county is not null. So here, this the value here, in other words, the value of the selected county is not null. So if selected county is not null, so here I'm going to pass selected county like that.
that if it's not null selected county then we can be able to show this div and of course here i can finish i can end the if function using end if like that and then after that we can still have something that is similar to what we are having here let me just type it in so we will have select select and then we will close it like that we will give it a wire model of uh, maybe selected sub county i have not been able to set it as a property we will be able to do it in a while i can also give it a class in this case our class is a form select like that and then obviously inside here we can have the options so of course the first option i would like to set it to no value so option again in a similar fashion we will close the option and here i want it i want us to give it a value of a null or nothing and here we can say select sub county like that and then of course now after that i would like us to have a for each loop for each for each in this case now sub counties sub counties as sub county like that and we can end for each at end for each like that and inside here we can have an option again another one now the one that will be carrying our values or in other words the loop of values that you'll be having here so the value here i want it to be sub county id sub county id like that and then inside here i want us to have sub county name i hope that is how it is in our database yes sub county a uh, name can we which table are we checking yes sub county name so here we can have double curly braces and we can have sub county name like that so basically that is that and so i would like us to refresh and now see if we can be able to have both the values so we can select our county and then now we have the input for sub county appearing now we, you can see in quality we have four sub counties we can select another sub county mandera when you check there are several sub counties we can select another sub county maybe let me move a little bit downwards and select nairobi and also in nairobi you can see we have these many sub counties obviously now for you to be able to continue working with it you can have a submit button after you have been able to select a sub county you can have a submit button here and when you submit then the county and sub county will be submitted this is uh, the end of uh, this tutorial episode please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell by doing this you will be notified when i upload another awesome video if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up 
you can also share it. You are also welcome to engage in the comment section. Thank you very much.